guys, what's up? It is the Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be talking to you guys about the basic care of chinchillas. I'm just going to be going over the care and housing of chinchillas, like the basics of it, and I hope that if you are thinking of getting a chinchilla or you have one and you're not sure of how to really go about taking care of them, that this video will be a help to you. I'm going to be using my chinchilla Merlin's cage as an example, and that is my other chinchilla Zorro, but He's not going to be in this video, it's just going to be Merlin. Alright, so I have had chinchillas for a long time, since 2012, so that's about 8 years of owning chinchillas. So I have a little bit of experience with them, and I've done a lot of research over the years and learned a lot about how to take care of chinchillas. So of course I'm not saying I'm a professional or expert, but I do have a lot of experience with them, and I do um, now have two chinchillas. They're not bonded together yet. I get all the information on chinchilla care from other YouTubers that were really experienced that I used to watch back in the day. I would also search them up on internet a lot, reach out to vets as well in my area, as well as exotic vets online, to breeders, to other experienced chinchilla owners. So that's where I get all my information from and it's up to you whether you want to take it or not. But just so that you know, I'm not sharing my opinion. I'm just sharing what is fact about chinchilla care. So anyway, let's just get into it. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is housing. So as you can see, this is Merlin's cage and it is a Critter Nation double, uh, double unit. It's the Model 162. I got this cage off Amazon and I will be linking it down below in case you guys want to get it. Um, so basically, you're going to need a large cage. Chinchillas really need height in their cage because they are animals that in their natural habitat in the wild, they are on mountains. So they're climbing, they're constantly running up and down mountains and like rocks. And that's why they need a pretty tall cage. So this cage without the stand on the bottom, I think is 4.5 feet tall, which is ideally what you want. I wouldn't get anything less than 4 feet tall. So you're definitely going to need a large cage. And I recommend one like this cage that follow these dimensions of this cage because it's a really good cage. If you can get or make a larger one, definitely go for it. The bigger, the better. But basically, this cage needs to be in a quiet place, away, away from direct sunlight and lots of light. Um, chinchillas are crepuscular, which means they're most active at dawn and dusk. So during the day, when the sun is shining brightly, they're most likely going to be sleeping. So you don't want them to be disturbed by too much light. You don't want them to be in complete darkness either. So what I usually do is, I'll show you, I just turn off these lights, I leave the kitchen light on, and this is what they have during the day. It's pretty good, it's not too much and not too little. So, just turn those back on. Another reason you want it to not be in direct sunlight is because they can overheat easily and if the sun is just shining straight onto their cage, they can get very hot very fast. And another thing that you want in the area where their cage is is for there to be good airflow between 60 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. If you, you can go lower than 60 degrees, but I wouldn't, there's no need to go too cold. But it's very, very important that their temperature does not exceed 69 or 70 degrees at the most Fahrenheit. Chinchillas cannot sweat. They have very dense, thick fur and they cannot sweat or expel the heat in any way or cool down their body. So that's why they need it to be cool. Well, and now I'm going to get into the bedding. So chinchillas are going to need bedding and what that does for them is that it is the place where they pee and poop. So as you can see here, I have tile on the bottom and then I have fleece on the top and I have the same thing in the other cage. So the reason I do this is because I like to keep the tile on the bottom for them to cool down on and I feel like it just is a little bit more of a easier for me to clean the cage because if I had two fleece liners, the mess would be a lot bigger. But basically my chinchillas usually pee just on the fleece and this is why you need fleece. You can't have the entire cage just tile because they're going to need to pee somewhere and that pee needs to get absorbed. If your chinchilla pees on tile a bunch, you want to switch away from tile because what it does is they pee on the tile and then they can get their paws in it, it gets dirty, it gets gross, their fur gets matted, you know, infections can occur from that bacteria. You really don't want your chinchilla to pee on the tile. So if yours has a habit of doing that, I would not recommend tile for you. I would recommend fleece. And then if you don't want to use fleece, there are other, um, there are other options. There's aspen wood shavings or kiln dried pine shavings. Make sure they're kiln dry and not fresh pine. But pretty much, I just use fleece because it works really well for me. It's pretty neat, and the seeds on the watermelons look like poop, but it's not. It's clean. But this is what Merlin usually pees on, and there is a towel as an absorbent layer underneath the fleece. You don't want to just put the fleece because then the pee goes under, but it has no place to get absorbed, so your chinchilla is still going to get wet and gross from it. So those are your options for bedding. Bedding is absolutely essential for chinchillas. 
Now moving on to the accessories in the cage. So accessories are extremely important. That's what you fill the cage with. So as you can see, I have a huge hideout hut right here and then one down there. That's the first thing I want to talk about is chinchillas are going to need huts to hide away in. Especially in the daytime when they just want to get into a darker place, that's what hideout huts are for. And then also if they get scared suddenly, that's their place of refuge that they can just run and hide in. So you're going to need at least two if not three or four of these. I have two in each of my chinchillas cages. But if you have the room in your cage, I would add even more, as many as you can, just because it gives your chinchilla, like I said, a place to hide and a place to sleep in if they want. So definitely lots of hideout huts. That one is just some wood covered with fleece, and then this is just a wooden one I got from PetSmart. You can get these literally anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, on Etsy, pet stores, anywhere online pretty much. The next thing is ledges and toys. So ledges are extremely important. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, chinchillas jump around and run up and down a lot. So that's what ledges do. And I just have a bunch of wooden ledges. I don't know how many I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have about ten ledges in the cage for Merlin. And some of them are covered in fleece. I only did that because when I made those fleece ledges, the wood underneath wasn't safe for my chinchilla to chew. And I didn't want him to chew it. That's why I have them on there. But I recommend wood because your chinchilla can chew them and it just looks more natural and, you know, it's just more natural for your chinchilla to have. But ledges are very, very important. I would highly recommend that you get them. So I actually made these ledges, the skinny one, and if you want to know how to make ledges, you can just type in a tutorial on YouTube. I'm sure one will come up. But then I got those ledges back there. They're a little thicker. I got these ones from AZ Chins. So, and I also got this from AZ Chins and the corner ledge from them. So, you can buy ledges from a few different places online. I'll try to link some down below where you can find the ledges. But ledges are extremely important in chinchillas' cages, and along with that are toys. So, because chinchillas' teeth never stop growing, they're going to constantly need things to chew on and to keep them entertained as well. That's why you should have as many toys as possible. I, for some reason, Merlin hates toys that hang. He doesn't touch them. I got that big toy, this one, and I had a bunch of little ones. Merlin just doesn't like toys that hang. I think that he just likes the ones that he can move around with his mouth and carry. So I have mostly for Merlin just toys that he can carry around. Um, I have some loofah down there, and I had a big wicker bowl that he destroyed recently. But um, if you look into my other Cinchilla's cage, you can see some... Accessories, I have a lava ledge, a wicker bowl, a seagrass mat, um, some pumice stones. I have quite a bit of toys for my chinchillas and I do need to get more for Merlin, but toys are very important because your chinchilla is going to need something to keep them busy and interactive because they're very intelligent animals and then also something to keep their teeth healthy. So other things that go along with the accessories in the cage would be a hay rack or a hay holder of some sort. I have this one from Walmart. It's actually not meant for chinchillas. This is a container, like an organizer, that you stick on the inside of a cabinet, in like a kitchen, but it works really well for Merlin. And then for my other chinchilla, I have a fleece um, pouch that holds hay in that too. Basically, you just need something that holds the hay. Your chinchilla is going to pick it out and drag it out anyway, but you're gonna need to put something that hangs for them to do it, because number one, they really like pulling it out and eating it, and number two, it just keeps the fresh hay clean. And then another thing that you're gonna need is a food bowl. So I have coop cups for both my chinchillas, just metal ones off Amazon that I keep their food in, and it just, it hangs on the side of the cage so they can't tip it over or anything. I used to have ceramic bowls, and if that's what you want to use, you can also try that, but I don't recommend anything plastic, so I would just stick with either metal coop cups or ceramic bowls on the, you know, that sit on their cage like this. And then you're also going to need a water bottle. Chinchillas don't drink out of bowls. It's best for them to have water bottles because they can't get their fur wet, and there's a huge risk of that with a bowl of water. So you can get water bottles from PetSmart, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them pretty much anywhere. And then the last thing that you're going to need as an accessory in your chinchilla's cage is a wheel. I highly recommend that you get one because even if you let your chinchilla out a lot for playtime, there's still going to be times, especially in the middle of the night, when they want to run and that you, you can't let them out, you know, because you're sleeping or whatever. So that's why a wheel is good for them because they can choose to you know, let out all that energy and exercise whenever they want to. And I highly recommend that you guys get a chin spin because it's a really good quality wheel. It doesn't 
break like the people who have had it really recommended it to me so I got it and I know they're pricey I believe this was 120 on Amazon but if you save up for it I'm telling you it's worth it because these really last and they're 15 inches in diameter so they they will be big enough for your chinchilla when they're fully grown but I don't recommend any wheels that are plastic from the pet store because those aren't the right sizes or any mesh wheels of any sort, I would recommend 15 inches in diameter and something that is made out of safe material for your chinchilla. So other than that, that's all the accessories inside the cage. Now we're going to get into bathing. So chinchillas do not need to be washed with water or groomed with a brush at all. What they do need is a dust bath and I actually have to give Merlin his so I can kind of demonstrate how <laughs> chinchillas take dust baths. He pooped in this last time so I didn't clean it, oops. but. Anyway, so I just usually move that there. So he is just going to roll around in there and basically what dust does is it takes the natural oils off of their fur and they love to roll around in it. It's just really natural. In the wild, they have volcanic ash that they do this in and we imitate this with blue cloud dust. So you don't wanna use sand. I know that there's some companies that sell sand for chinchillas and that's not safe. The sand is too big of particles and it actually makes their fur dull and rough instead of soft and shiny. Or not soft and shiny, but just soft. <laughs> and so um, dust keeps their fur healthy. And then as for the grooming, they take care of that on their own. You'll see sometimes chinchillas just picking through their fur, just grooming, you know, everything like that. That's normal. That's just chinchillas taking care of themselves. So that's all you're going to need to do about bathing. Bathing is done two to three times a week. I usually let my chinchillas have it every other day for a little bit. Um, and if not, it's like I said, twice a week or three times. I wouldn't give it every single day and always under supervision. Um, this container is plastic. And as you can see, when I was gone, I had my mom take care of my chinchillas sometimes. She would leave them the, the dust container in the cage with the chinchillas for like three hours and Merlin shoot it a bunch. You don't want that to happen. So if you're gonna have a plastic container, please make sure that you are supervising your chinchillas. Never leave it unattended. All right, so the next part of chinchilla care is playtime. So as you can see, that's what Merlin is doing right now. He's just having his playtime and I usually let him out and have his dust bath at the same time. But pretty much chinchillas are gonna need playtime because it's good for them to exercise and get out of their cage and be able to run around without having to be confined to bars. And I usually like to let my chinchilla out in the room that they're in. I just got this playpen that surrounds his cage. And as you see, I have two chinchillas. So what I do is when I'm done with Merlin having playtime, I just move it over there and let the other chinchilla out. So chinchillas are going to need playtime every single day. It's very important for them to have that stimulation and that access to exercise like that. If you can't let your chinchilla out in the room that they're in, their cage is in, you can always take them to a, a bathroom or a spare room in your house or something, somewhere chinchilla proof. You always wanna make sure that you're blocking off anything that you don't want them chewing or getting into, off with either cardboard or fencing or some sort of blockade. Playtime is needed every single day in a safe place with supervision. Never let your chinchilla out without you watching them. And so as far as how often, I mean how much time you should let them out for, I usually let my chinchillas out for whenever they get tired. I have a piano down here so I just like to bring that out here and I watch them. Or I sit on my phone and watch some Netflix. So I usually, they usually last for about an hour before they get bored and go inside. So now I'm going to talk about feeding and this is very important for your chinchillas obviously. So chinchillas diet is made up 75% of eating hay. So this is the hay that Merlin has. I don't put a lot every day because if I put too much, he'll just pull it all out and then pee on it and he won't eat it. So I use Timothy chinchilla hay. So I have the bag right there. It's just a brand Oxbow and it's Western Timothy hay. I get the really big one because I have two chinchillas and they eat a lot of hay between the two of them. But hay is a huge part of your chinchillas diet. They should be having an unlimited access to hay whenever a whenever they can. Hay is very important because it's not only a large part of what they need to eat and stay healthy, but it's also good for their teeth. It helps keep their teeth healthy and in shape. So if you can, go for the longer strands of hay, if you can have an option of buying hay with longer strands because that's good or better for their teeth. So as far as hay, I would get Timothy hay is what chinchillas need. And there are other hays like alfalfa hay, oat hay, those kind of things. I wouldn't feed those as a major part of their, or their diet. Those are just kind of like treats or occasional changes up. You know, you can give them a, a little bit of that along with their Timothy hay. But 
in general they should be eating only timothy hay and the, as far as the brands i use oxbow i know there are other really good brands of hay but i would not go for the cheapest stuff possible i know it's tempting when you're at the pet store to buy some cheap kt hay or all living things or whatever things like that but that, those kinds of hays aren't very high quality and they're not that good for chinchillas so make sure you're going with a brand that is a little bit might be more expensive but it is healthier for them so hay is very important and the other thing that chinchillas eat the other side of their diet is pellets so this is what they look like if you've never seen pellets and these pellets mostly are made of hay that's their main ingredient so it's just like another hay thing for them but it also has other nutrients and necessities in their for chinchillas so this hay is also there are these pellets are also the oxbow brand that's what i feed my chinchillas another good pellet brand is missouri I would not recommend that you feed your chinchilla low quality stuff like KT or all living things pellets. Definitely nothing that has seeds or colorful bits of food in there, nothing like that. I know that they are marketed as for chinchillas, but they're really not healthy for them. It's like you're feeding chinchilla candy. I would stay away from that. You want pure pellets and you want a high quality brand that's good for your chinchillas. So. As far as pellets, I sometimes get the question of how often or how much you should let your chinchilla eat them. I allow both of my chinchillas to have, especially Zoro, because Zoro's still growing, but I allow both of my chinchillas to have an unlimited supply and they don't have problems with overeating. However, if you are scared of overeating, I would feed two or three tablespoons to your adult chinchilla every day. That's the recommended measurement of uh, pellets that they need. And the last thing I want to talk about is additional supplies that you're going to need for a chinchilla. So. I highly recommend, like I don't even know how people without these survive, but I highly recommend that you get a sweeper of some sort. Of course I have fleece, so that's why I need it even more. But if you don't have a sweeper, you can also get a little mini vacuum. But this basically I use to clean the floor, not the floor, I use this to clean the, the poop off of their, the tile, and I use it to clean the poop off the top as well as the hay. And it just kind of keeps everything clean and tidy. I got this from like the pet section from TJ Maxx. I'm sure you can buy these pretty much anywhere. It's just mini. And they, it like clips together so it's really convenient. And then I have a big broom for the floor around. But you really don't need a big broom. You can just use a small one for that. But I highly recommend that you get a vacuum or a sweeper. And when you get a chinchilla, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> and then the next thing you're going to need is a garbage can near the cage. I highly recommend this too because... You're gonna notice how much they poop, how much hay they make, how many like wipes and just like supplies you're gonna need to use to clean the cage. So I would get a garbage can. And then the last thing is just storage organizers just to keep their supplies in. I have one over there that I use to keep their like hay, their toys, not their hay, their pellets, their toys, their fleece liners, stuff like that. And then the rest of it, I kind of just have in cabinets in the kitchen, but you're definitely gonna want a few organizers or just somewhere that you can just store all their supplies in. So that's pretty much it for the basic care. I hope that I covered as much as I could without getting too extensive in each of these areas of chinchilla care. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to know, yes, chinchillas are totally worth owning and they can be very expensive. I forgot to mention prices throughout this video, but chinchillas are gonna be very expensive. So <laughs> you're just gonna have to be prepared for that. If you want a chinchilla, be aware of the expense if you have one you knew what you were getting into hopefully so you're just gonna have to keep maintaining a good life for your chinchilla so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video